Hi everyone, this is Jeremy85. Today I'm going to replace the wheel bearings on this Dodge Ram 1500. This is a two-wheel drive 96 Dodge Ram and I'm going to show you how I replace one side. Before you start working on it, make sure you have two new bearings, inner and outer bearing and also a new uh, seal. First I'm going to take my jack and jack up the front of the vehicle. So I have this side of the car jacked up now. Now I'm taking a 21 millimeter socket with a little extension to get up the lock nuts. Now I can take off the wheel. Next thing I'm going to do is taking off the caliper here. Therefore I'm going to have to press back the piston. You can do it with a clamp or with a piece of metal and press it back just like that. It doesn't have to be pressed back all the way, just enough that these pads are loose. Now I'm going to take off the caliper. There's one bolt up here and one down here. I'm going to loosen them up with a 3 8 inbus socket. Make sure you disconnect this line from the brake line. I'm just putting the caliper behind this bindle right now. That way I don't have to hang it on, on a piece of wire or something. Just make sure those lines here are not tight. An easy way to take off the hub cap is using channel locks, but be careful, don't squeeze it too bad so that I can so that you can reuse it. There you go. Now I'm taking off the safety pin. Taking this part out. Now you can see the nut that's actually holding the hub onto the spindle. And we're going to take that off now. Usually it's pretty loose. This nut is going to be reused. I'm going to put it on a piece of paper so it doesn't get dirty. You don't want to get any sand or anything in here. Now you can actually take off the hub, but be careful because the old outer bearing is going to fall out when you take it off. There's a washer on top of the bearing. You might want to save that too. I'm going to take this hub inside on the workbench and take out the old bearing. This is the inside of the wheel hub. First thing we're going to do is take off the seat. Now you can take off the inner bearing just like that. We still have the old drives in there. There's one drive on this side on the inside and one drive on the outside. I'm going to clean this a little bit to uh, show you where the drives are and how to get them out. Down here is the actual edge of the outer drive. I'm going to hit that with a screwdriver and the hammer to get it out. Here you can see that it's actually coming out but it's not all out yet, so I have to keep doing this. I'm placing two pieces of wood on both sides of the bearing so that the, that the inside is free so that I can take out the wheel, the bearing drive all the way. The old drive just fell out. Now it's time to take the, the inner drive out. The 
this is the inner drive it's a little bigger we also got this one out so now it's time to clean it and put the new drives in here you see the new bearing it's the outer bearing and it comes with the drive so take it out of the plastic make sure there's no dirt getting to this so take off the drive take the drive and put it with the thicker side towards the hub fortunately I have a metal tube laying around that's exactly the same size as the drive so I'm going to place that on there and take the hammer to get it in there Make sure you get it in there nice and even. As you can see it's going down in there but it's still not at the end. If it's not moving any further in, that's it. Turn around and do the other side. I'm wiping it off again to make sure there's no dirt to get it in easy. So this is the drive for the inner bearing. Again, put the thick side in first. Now it's time to put in the inner bearing. But before I do that, I'm applying this grease on there make sure you don't put too much on it and make sure you work it in there nice into the wheels so now apply a thin layer of grease onto the inside of the drive Not too much, just a nice layer. Now I'm putting the bearing into the drive. Also putting some grease on top, but only on the sides. Now I'm putting that inner seal on there. Now I'm going to pack some more grease in there. Now I'm going to clean off the old grease off of the spindle. Now I'm putting the wheel hoop back on there. So before I put the outer bearing in, I'm putting a, I'm putting some of that grease on there too, and working it in there nicely. Again, I'm applying a thin layer of grease onto the drive, and then I'm putting in the new bearing. I'm cleaning the washer a little bit and put, putting it back on the right way. Now I'm putting the nut back on. Now I'm taking a 27 millimeter socket, tightening up the nut. Now it's really hard to turn the wheel. And now I'm backing off. a quarter turn like that and then it's got the right tension 
Now I'm putting this safety knot on there and the pin back in. And don't forget to put the cap back on. Now as you can see there's grease all over the brake disc so I'm going to clean that off. Don't forget the inside too. Now I'm putting that caliper back into position. Okay, I'm going to tighten up these lock nuts with my torque wrench and that's it. I'm all done replacing the bearings. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you liked this video. If so, please press like or feel free to subscribe to my channel. You can also find me on Google Plus and Facebook. And this is Jeremy85 signing out.